Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new little cup battle for you today. Yeah, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna do that every single time, just to get used to it. I hope it at least brings a smile to your face uh, when I get in that high-pitched vocal range. Anyway, my opponent is Mr. Floyd Boy Jim, and he leads off with a Makuhita. Makuhita. Now that's a Pokemon who I don't think I've ever said that Pokemon's name before. Anyway, it fakes out my Dwebble on my first turn, and indeed that is actually my Dwebble, it's not my Zoroa disguised or anything, as he probably thought it was. Uh, my opponent goes for the Bullet Punch, which is going to be super effective, get, and get me down to about half health, as my Hermione sets up Stealth Rocks, which made, you know, Stealth Rocks are always a good idea, and I didn't really think that he'd be trying to set up Stealth Rocks, in which case the uh, plan would have been to use um, Magic Bounce with my not to. Anyway. Gonna switch into Angler. Obviously, that bull punch isn't gonna do anything to me. My opponent calls back Makuhita and goes ahead and sends out Scraggy. Uh, probably an Eviolite Scraggy. Eviolite is a really, really good item to have on Scraggy. T Bolt, not doing very much. Again, probably because it's Eviolite. He's gonna go ahead and Drain Punch me. Does. Not that it does a small amount of damage to me, not a lot of damage. I go ahead and go for the skull, hoping to get the burn, because otherwise, you know, this guy has a huge, huge threat to me. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my Mila, my Natu, thinking free switch basically, but unfortunately, my opponent predicts that, goes for the crunch, gets me down to 2 freaking HP. I do go ahead and set up the reflect, which is excellent. Uh, I mean, not that it's going to help me out, but it is going to help out my opponent. Anyway, my opponent expected me to switch, which is awesome because now not, on, uh, not, now not only do I have a reflect up, but I'm going to be able to get off a wish, so that whoever I swap in will be able to recover a lot of health. My opponent goes for the Dragon Dance, deciding to set up on me. So this Scraggy is now going to be extremely menacing now that it's gotten the Dragon Dance off. I'm going to go ahead and swap out at this point, just so that my Hermione, my Dwebble, is going to get the full effect of that wish. Crunch is going to be not very effective, if I do recall correctly. I guess it's not resisted or anything, but behind a reflect, uh, it's only 50% of normal. Anyway, that Drain Punch also is not going to be super effective, thanks to the fact... Well, I mean, it is super effective. Oh, I guess it's not super effective to begin with. So anyway, yeah, 50% damage, whatnot. I go ahead and get my Shell Smash off. So that's great because I don't think this guy carries any priority moves. Besides, I am behind that Reflect. The Reflect is really, really going to help me out here. Uh, so, yeah, all of Hermione's uh, stats are raised. Well, the not non-defensive ones anyway. I go ahead and go for the x Scissor, which is not, uh, it's not super effective or anything thanks to Scraggy's fighting type, but it is enough to KO. So that's excellent. Next, my opponent sends out Totodile, and I'm fearing the Aqua Jet here. Which, uh, but... Instead, my opponent doesn't go for the Aqua Jet. I think Totodile is going to Aqua Jet. Eh, anyway. Rock Slide. KO. Excellent. Next out for my opponent is going to be Pillow Man again. Now, I know that my opponent is going to use uh, Bullet Punch, but I think I can hopefully survive thanks to Scraggy's excellent defense and the fact that I have Reflect Up. Rock Slide is, not good, is going to be resisted, but... Amazingly, that kills me. Like, what the heck happened there? It was a crit, so really, really lame. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I, you know, without that crit, my double sweep would have been, been ended right there. Anyway, I'm expecting the sucker punch from his bubble boy, but he doesn't carry it. Uh, not too many gases carry sucker punch this gen. Anyway, Rock Slide is going to be able to take him out. Excellent for me, and I'm sweeping through his entire team. Next out is Turbo Plug which is an Elekid. I'm going to go ahead and X Scissor here. Uh, not sure Well, I wanted 100% accuracy. Um, doesn't Elekid get static? Does, does get static? That could have been really bad if I'd been static. Anyway, last Pokemon for my opponent is that Flame Kid. That, uh, Sinisir? Uh, anyway, my Rock Slide misses, which is lame, but you know what? A little bit of hacks. Not the end of the world, especially considering I got some hacks earlier. Anyway, Hermione is now down thanks to Hidden Power. Not sure what Hidden Power it is yet, but uh, I suspect it's probably Grass. I go ahead and send out Angler here. My opponent uses Hidden Power again, really convincing me that it is Hidden Power Grass because it's not like he was locked into it or anything. But I survive with 7 HP thanks to my Eviolite, and I'm going to end this battle with a nice, excellent, strong skull. So that's 
an excellent battle, Mr. Floyd Boy Jim. And I gotta say, before I had this battle, I was really considering taking out Dwebble. Uh, I just, it, it, you know, maybe for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, T Tortuga, I wasn't really sure. Basically, Dwebble hadn't really done much in the past, but in this battle, this was the battle that convinced me to keep Dwebble on, because it did so much work this battle. So, hope you enjoyed that battle, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and of course, challenge. So long!